Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Lots of Games. I just want to first give a shout out to TK Persian. just want to thank you for your support and your uh, comments. I really appreciate it. Uh, the first game I want to talk about is the new upcoming Tom Clancy game, Hawks. You just saw the footage uh, that was at the start of this video. And uh, it looks very similar to Ace Combat 6. Looks like it's going to be a real competitor. I'm not sure how it's going to be gameplay wise. Maybe it'll be a demo in the near future. Uh, as you well know, Ace Combat 6, you have the option to just purchase the game, but there is also a flight stick bundle where it had a special controller with it. Well, that bundle that Ace Combat 6 had was sold out long ago. I think you can find it on eBay or Amazon.com, and uh, it's a lot more if you want it new uh, than $150. Well, the new Hawks game uh, coming out, the new Tom Clancy game, it also has its own special controller. I believe it's called the Aviator Stick. And uh, you can check it out at EB Games and uh, other retailers and let me know what you think. It doesn't look as good as the Ace Combat 6 Flight Stick in my opinion, but it's an option there for you. I'm not sure if it'll work for the Ace Combat 6 game. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is Mirror's Edge. Um, this was a game that EA Games spent a lot of money on and uh, they had projected that this game was going to sell around 3 million units and unfortunately it didn't really sell that well. Uh, it got mixed reviews. Some reviewers loved it and thought it was in contention for Game of the Year and then there were other reviewers like GameSpot.com that said it was just an average game. Um, I played it and it's pretty awesome. And uh, unfortunately, for the first week of sales for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, it just sold around 100,000 uh, copies. So, you know, hopefully more people will find out about this game. I'm not, I don't think it's going to reach 3 million, even 2 million copies, um, but I'm hoping that it'll get sell over 1 million units because I know uh, EA Games spent um, a lot of their time and resources on it. And uh, another thing I want to talk to you guys about is uh, concerning the Lost Planet. As you know, this game came out for the PC, the PlayStation 3, and the Xbox 360. It sold really well on the Xbox 360. And uh, a little while back, Capcom had announced that they were going to make Lost Planet into a movie. And it uh, looks like that they're going to spend quite a bit of money, amount of money on this, um, on this movie. Reports are they're going to spend as much as 150 to 200 million dollars on this movie. Uh, I'm not sure that's just if that's the best move that they should do. Uh, I know that when Square Enix released that one movie, um, Final Fantasy: Spirits Within, I believe they spent over 130 million, and as you know, that movie tanked pretty hard. Um, to release a game into a movie is pretty risky. There's a long line of um, games turned into movie and they usually don't do very well so maybe Capcom realizes that they're going to be making a lot of money in 09 and they can use maybe some of that money for other ventures like movies. I know the uh, Resident Evil movies have done okay and they've I guess done well enough to spawn sequels so we'll just have to wait and see how Lost Planet movie does. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is a game that it's one of my favorite games of all time, and, and a lot of you don't know anything about it. It's going to be coming out for the Nintendo DS. It's a re-release of a game uh, that came out um, almost 20 years ago for the TurboGrafx-16 CD player. It's called Ease Book 1 and 2. And this game is going to be released here in the States. If you pre-order this game, you, you get a free soundtrack. Um, in my opinion, it's got some of the best music of any video game of all time and also in my opinion has probably the best storyline of any game of all time. Those of you that have played this game know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's going to be re-released for the Nintendo DS. I definitely suggest you check it out. East Book 1 and 2, when it came out for the TurboGrafx-16 CD player, um, it was the first video game to ever score a perfect 10 um, for Electronic Gaming Monthly which at the time was a very big deal. Um, now, as you know, Electronic Gaming Monthly is no longer going to be, uh, I guess it got, the doors were closed and it's no longer going to have, uh, be releasing new issues of that magazine, just kind of show you how old this game is. 
Um, but anyway, those of you that are familiar with uh, Eastbook 1 and 2, uh, let me know what you think about this new DS game. Finally, I uh, just want to touch briefly upon the community games on Xbox Live. Um, one of the games that I've been playing lately is uh, Johnny Platform's Biscuit Romp. Those of you guys who haven't tried that, give it a try, download it, let me know what you think. It's only like, you could try the demo, but uh, it's only like $2.50. That's one of the great things about these community games. You can buy the full version of these games for like 2 bucks and 50 cents. And uh, give that game a try. It's pretty fun. Those of you guys that like platformers, you know I'm a big platformer fan. Check it out. Try it. It's something, you know, just to get your mind off a more serious game. and Just have a ball. And uh, that's about it for uh, this episode. And uh, let me know what you think about the upcoming games and what games you're going to be getting. I know I just recently released a video about that. Again, still very excited about Resident Evil 5 and Street Fighter 4. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.